we begin with Thanos' big chin ugly ass celebrating having retrieved the last Infinity Stone from Black Widow after her intense fight with Dormammu. He claims that even Earth's mightiest heroes aren't shit but powerless against him now that he has the Infinity Gauntlet, declaring himself the supreme ruler of the universe. With the power of the Gauntlet, Thanos then creates a towering citadel near Earth's orbit. He was surprised when the Avengers jet suddenly passed through a portal and crashed into him. The Avengers suddenly arrive in armored suits when they discover that Thanos is unscathed from the surprise attack. Thanos is furious when he sees the Avengers wearing armor obtained from the Titan army from his home planet. He claims that, unlike Earth, the Titans were wise enough to recognize when they had lost. Black Widow claims the Infinity Stones are too strong for anyone and recklessly charges at him. Her futile attacks don't even phase Thanos, and he then uses his powers to crush the armor with Black Widow still inside it. Hawkeye worries for her safety and attacks Thanos with a freezing bolt, quickly encasing him in ice. Thor charges and punches him when Thanos breaks free, but Thanos punches back, sending him flying to the other side of the moon, shocking everyone. Against the overwhelming power of the Infinity Gauntlet, the Avengers look to Captain America for a plan to defeat Thanos. Captain America claims that everyone has a weakness, even Thanos, and declares that it's only a matter of discovering it. Thanos doesn't feel threatened by the Avengers, so he brazenly turns his back on them. He uses the Infinity Gauntlet to summon disaster all across the planet, creating earthquakes, blizzards, and even hailstorms. Captain America claims Earth won't fall on their watch and calls the Avengers to assemble. The Avengers attack him with everything they have, but it doesn't even reach Thanos blocking it all with his impenetrable barrier. When the Hulk jumps at him, Thanos uses the Power Stone to blow them away. Uninterrupted, Thanos continues to summon disasters on Earth, causing volcanoes to erupt, sinkholes to appear, and smoldering heat to emerge. Falcon suggests returning to Earth to help, but Iron Man claims they can leave that to S.H.I.E.L.D., for if they fail to get the Infinity Gauntlet off Thanos, there won't be an Earth to return to. Black Widow comes out of her suit and blames herself feeling responsible for Thanos getting the Infinity Stones. Iron Man comforts her, claiming that Thanos would have found the stones with or without her. Despite that, Black Widow claims she started this and plans to end it. She then asks Iron Man and the others to cover her while she goes invisible, undetected. Iron Man rallies the others and leads the Avengers while the Hulk throws their destroyed Titan armor at Thanos. Thanos claims they can't expect it to work on him, but Hulk explains that he wasn't aiming at him, but at the platform he was standing on. When Thanos is about to fall into Earth's orbit, he uses the Time Stone to restore the platform. He claims to be unimpressed by Tony Stark, deemed one of Earth's most intelligent men. Suddenly he notices a bright light on the moon where he threw Thor. Thor charges at him and declares that a mere glove is no match for his hammer. During the confusion, Black Widow sneaks up from behind, but Thanos sees through her plan and catches her in his arms. He then uses her as a shield against Thor, forcing him to stop his charge against him abruptly. Thanos then tosses Black Widow into space, but Thor quickly flies out and catches her. Hulk furiously charges at Thanos, but his punches can't even break through his barrier. Unaffected, Thanos ignores the Hulk and turns his back to continue with ending the planet. Seeing they have no choice, Iron Man tells Captain America that it's time to carry out their contingency plan, to which he hesitatingly agrees, worried that it's a risky gambit. Iron Man claims he needs readings on every Infinity Stone, but Falcon worries that they couldn't even get his attention. Captain America suggests they use his weakness against him, which he describes as a common flaw in tyrants, an inflated ego. Captain America leads the mind games and provokes Thanos, claiming he ignores the Hulk because he is afraid. 
Hawkeye and Falcon then make fun of him, who they defeated once before when he only had the Power Stone. Provoked, Thanos claims that he sees through their plan and declares it will end in failure. When he was about to finish them, Iron Man convinced him to defeat them using only one Infinity Stone. Thanos accepts his challenge and uses the Time Stone to turn them into elderly. Thanos claims that the Time Stone is undefeatable because time is a power no one can escape. Falcon claims that if this is their last, they will go down swinging. Falcon and Captain America attack Thanos, but he uses the Time Stone again on the Avengers, turning them all into ash, even Hulk. As Thanos smirked with victory against the Avengers, Thor attacked him out of nowhere, surprising him that he was still alive. When Thanos attacks him with the Time Stone, Thor claims that the passage of time only makes Asgardians powerful. He then charges Thanos and deflects the Time Stone against him, turning Thanos old. Thanos is then forced to use the Time Stone to revert the effects, bringing back the rest of the Avengers as well. Thanos claims that the Avengers are lucky to have an Asgardian with them who can withstand the effects of the Time Stone. Iron Man claims that it wasn't luck, but teamwork. Hawkeye argues with him, claiming that he couldn't have known they would have survived. Thor gets furious at Hawkeye for doubting that he'd survive that attack. Captain America intervenes and asks them to stand down, claiming their fight isn't against each other. Black Widow also complains that Iron Man plays with their lives while he hides behind his armor. Falcon butts in and claims that she was the one who collected the stones in the first place, and wonders if she was working with Thanos. When Captain America tries to break them up, Black Widow knocks him down, claiming not to take orders from him. As they continue arguing, Iron Man tells everyone to calm down and explains that Thanos is using the Mind Stone against them. Thor refuses to believe him and knocks him into outer space when Hulk jumps up and throws Iron Man against Thor. He claims that the Mind Stone makes them angry, to which Hulk explains that he lives with rage every day. When Hawkeye demands how he controls it, Hulk explains that he doesn't control anger, but aims it at his enemies. With Hulk leading the attack, the Avengers focus their rage on Thanos. Thanos then uses the Mind Stone directly on Hulk, but Iron Man explains that the angrier the Hulk is, the stronger he gets. Hulk then pummels Thanos to the platform's edge while the others provide cover. Thanos has had enough and intends to use the gauntlet on them, but Falcon convinces him to use only one Infinity Stone to defeat them. With the Time and Mind Stone ineffective against the Avengers, Thanos decides to use the Space Stone to take them out one by one. As they struggle to block Thanos, who instantaneously teleports behind them, Black Widow appears to predict where he will come out. Hawkeye realizes that Thanos isn't attacking randomly. Following Black Widow's example, Hawkeye shoots Thanos with an arrow as soon as he goes in for an attack on an Avenger. The others eventually catch up to him, and Iron Man knocks him down while Thor uses Mjolnir to pin him to the ground. With Thanos defeated, they bring him back to the Helicarrier, where Fury reveals that the other supervillain groups have disbanded. Hydra is helping survivors, AIM is rebuilding for charity, and even the Squadron Supreme wants to join S.H.I.E.L.D. Thanos nearly destroyed the world, and it brought humanity together. Despite the world now at peace, Captain America wonders what happened to Red Skull, which Fury explains has shockingly turned himself in. Seeing Red Skull in person behind a cell, Captain America has confirmed his suspicions and claims this isn't real. When Captain America attacks Thanos, Thor tells him it is not honorable to attack a chained prisoner. When Iron Man questions what Captain America is doing, he explains that this is the reality stone making them see what they want to see. Although he doesn't sense anything strange, Iron Man believes in Captain America, and they all later wake up from the vivid dream Thanos made them see. Having defeated all four Infinity Stones, Thanos relies on the Power Stone to defeat the Avengers. 
He then blows Thor and the Hulk away with its power, while Falcon draws his attention, skillfully dodging his attacks. With Thanos preoccupied, the Avengers quickly jump at him while Iron Man tries to pull the glove off. He immediately breaks free and blasts Iron Man to pieces with the Power Stone. He was surprised to discover that Tony was never inside his armor when he picked up and opened his helmet. Tony explains that Thanos may already have found their plan. Tony confirmed to the others that he successfully obtained readings from all five stones, but would need more time to complete the upgrades he made on Arsenal. When he realizes Tony is elsewhere, Thanos uses the Space Stone to pull him out of where he was hiding forcibly. When the Avengers try to protect Tony, Thanos summons Stone Hands to restrain the others while slowly approaching the defenseless Tony Stark. Luckily, he managed to buy himself time, just enough for Arsenal to finish rebooting. Thanos claims that Tony's machine once tried and failed to stop him. When he attacks it with the Infinity Gauntlet, Arsenal absorbs its attack, which Tony reveals to have made serious upgrades on Arsenal to absorb the power from all five Infinity Stones. Thanos was surprised that Arsenal could withstand a full attack of the Gauntlet, to which Tony claimed that the impossible was what Starks did best. He explains that his father built Arsenal as his birthday present, which he then modified to save the world. Arsenal then slowly walks towards Thanos, absorbing the power that Thanos is trying to attack it with. Thanos claims that no mere robot can withstand his power, but Tony claims that Arsenal is no mere robot, and that it is his father's greatest invention. Arsenal then effortlessly removes the gauntlet from Thanos, and they resurface back on Earth. Without the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos doesn't stand a chance against the Avengers who quickly take him down with their combined effort. With Thanos defeated, Iron Man tries to take the Infinity Gauntlet from Arsenal for safekeeping, but Arsenal refuses to hand it over. Arsenal apologizes to Tony and claims that a new contingency software suggests a different course of action. Everyone was shocked, and Arsenal claimed that his system code left an opening for Ultron who quickly transformed into his real form. Ultron then absorbs the Infinity Stones and becomes too powerful to stop even against the Avengers. Ultron then escapes, but not before declaring to end humanity. Captain America claims they were so focused on Thanos that Ultron blindsided them. Iron Man claims they will make Ultron their next mission. But for now, they must focus on securing Thanos and taking their problems one at a time. Later, the Guardians of the Galaxy arrive to take back Thanos with them. Star-Lord apologizes for previously attacking the Avengers over the Infinity Stones. He then guarantees they will not hear from him for a long time, with Thanos now in their custody. Iron Man is briefly reminded of his memories of Arsenal. Captain America reassures him that they will eventually find Ultron, and the Avengers will then show up to stop him. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos, and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.